Hi everyone, Adrian on page today and I'm going to play with these uh, flowers I doodled and I'm going to uh, explain how I made them. It's very easy, everyone can do it and if not, you can always use any stencil you've got or printables, free printable from uh, the internet. What, whatever you've got, if you've got some um, stamps. So this uh, this flower started like this i'm always working on tracing paper i don't know why it's just easier for me and i can always if i want to change or uh, make alternation i can go like this and see what i have and work on it and again and again until i'm reaching the shape i want so that was the general shape i wanted and then i went and uh, drew it on a white paper and started playing now uh, I just started well you've got some kind of stem and then a shape leaf shape for one petal and I wanted it crooked and very very loose so that's how I went about it and another one like this now another in the back it can stay like this. You can uh, add petals here, or as I've done here, I went with and added two like this. And again, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. And I made this area thicker. If you don't like uh, this uh, wavy lines, you can go with uh, other stuff, you can do like this. It really doesn't matter, it really is up to you. And if you like more petals, just go and add ones. So that was the beginning and then I just picked all kinds of stamps and each petal got, uh, almost each petal got a uh, another stamp just picked one and went inside like this and very carefully for each <laughs> for each petal i've uh, done another another stamp so that's how i play with it with it then i've cut them and i basically i just put them and scan them in my into my computer i can i've also printed some, just printed and um, played with the size uh, of the flowers so I've got several here now I've got a very um, simple printer inkjet and basically uh, it can bleed so I went over all my pages with this clear uh, spray because it's just cheaper than fixative so it's either this a hairspray or fixative so now i've got all this uh, flowers that i can play with and that's what i want to start here on my page i'm going to cut them from my uh, from my page and i'm not fussy cutting them you will see in a minute why i'm going to play with all kinds of elements in black and white and it would be my first layer and af after all the elements will be on my page then I'm going to go in uh, with color so I'm just taking some glue stick and I'm going to put this to adhere it to my page maybe I should have used white glue because there's going to be a lot of paint on top so and I don't want it to uh, get out lift from the, my page but I hope I've put enough now it's as you can see it's short I'm just going to take a permanent marker and continue the stem here 
really doesn't really <laughs> really doesn't really matter <laughs> double really <laughs> again I'm just taking another one of the flowers and maybe let's see before I uh, attach more flowers again another uh, printed page I just took a the words from any song from a uh, John Denver song and just played with the font and again printed it sprayed it so it won't bleed and I really don't care what it says yeah <laughs> it's just to add to my page I should have probably put this before I've attached my flower, but never mind. Yeah, I can live with it. As I said, it really doesn't matter what it says. Again, just some glue stick. Let's use this piece, just taking the excess and let's put it here. Again, trimming. The whole first layer is going to be this black and white. So now I'm just cutting pieces to go. As I said, it would have been easier if I put this before but never mind i'll work with what i have and then i'll uh, add at least i think two more flowers on top of this Okay, just a little bit more. Basically, you can take uh, some stamps and stamp away all kinds of uh, black uh, ink with a stamp in the background. It doesn't have to be so, something you printed. Okay, now I want something more in uh, the background. I've got leftover pieces from some kind of paper. And maybe take this. Now most... Uh, some of uh, this is going to disappear in the background. It's laying layers and playing and not always everything will stay uh, in the front. So I'm just picking out all kinds of stuff from this paper it, you can use book uh, paper uh, coloring pages anything black and white and as i said you can stamp away whatever you want uh, in the background 
just make sure it's permanent a uh, marker uh, <laughs> ink so it won't uh, smear when you put paint on it so I'm taking just one more piece let's see so again just glue stick If you've got washi tape, black and white washi tape, it also goes tissue paper with some uh, printed tissue paper, black and white. Okay, I've got one more piece here. Let's go for it. Okay. And I've got tissue paper that that I just scribble on it with permanent marker. And let's see. Basically, I can take permanent marker right now and just scribble on my page. You don't need the tissue paper. really doesn't matter just play with it so I've got this maybe I will add later I don't know now I want to add as I said at least two more uh, flowers this one looks a little bit uh, too big for what I want to do and let's see or maybe I think I'll use it and it will just, I will trim the excess and it will be a little bit off the edge and it will be more interesting. I like when elements are just sticking out like this. So again, I'm going to glue this down. Wait. I'm going to take just a little bit more here let's see yeah here okay Once again, I'm going to just continue my stem here, very loose line, and I want another flower here, let's see. this will do so once again glue stick no, 
a little bit lower yeah now I'm satisfied and continuing the stem downwards So now I'm thinking, let's see, just trim this so I can see what I'm doing. It's <laughs> bothering <laughs> my eye. <laughs> and maybe just more stamping. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to stamp just a little bit more because I know I'm go it's going to get covered and I want a lot of details. Of course, after painting, putting some paint I can also add on top of it but yeah I'm going to bring some stamps and maybe you know what I'm going to use the same stamps I've used in the flowers like this one and just randomly oops I'm using Momento Tuxedo Black, it's permanent ink. And let's switch, I like dots, so let's go with the dots. Okay, so I'm just now uh, thinking if I maybe I need to coat everything with a, either white glue or a, or gel medium or something like that, and then uh, go with uh, the paint. Not sure. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's go with the paint. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got some uh, paint that I'm gonna play with. It's not, I haven't planned, I'm just going to smear some paint and hope for the best. So, this I'm want, I want it randomly. I don't want to uh, uh, plan on it, I just want to put color on my page. So, neon pink is at least a base at the beginning some of this orangey uh, stuff here and these are just acrylic paints from the cheap store and they don't even have a name to the color it just you buy them and that's it nothing fancy I'm thinking to use instead of my finger I'm thinking of using a baby wipe no I don't know I will keep on with this and we'll see maybe it will just stay a mess Okay. Moving to this.
I'm just having fun with the colors it's quite random and they are still wet so I can also blend in between which is nice and I get more colors Yeah, I think I need, I don't know, <laughs> as I said, just playing about, I think I need something more, maybe yellow, maybe darker, uh, purple, maybe something more magenta, okay, let's see, I've got this darker purple, Let's add it here. I like darker colors in the corners, at the edges. So let's put it here. This is so much fun playing with paint. Well, I've got a little bit too much here, so just dabbing with uh, the baby wipe. If I think it's too much, and I'm going to add from this a uh, neon pink, which usually I won't use, but it gives a lot of light here, and it's fun, and it's doodle, and it's freehand and <laughs> it's not planned and I like how it blends with the orange and the pinks and just trying let's add a little bit of this magenta What a beautiful color. And it blends so well with the other colors. Just a little bit more here. I really like it. I think I'm going to let this sit. I, I need this to be dry. I think I'll go over uh, only the contours of my flowers again with um, the uh, permanent marker and I want some more details so I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back I'm back so this is dry. I went over the contours with the black permanent uh, marker. 
now they are a little bit more noticeable on my page and I want to push the background uh, back <laughs> I don't want it so uh, prominent now you can take any kind of light acrylic paint or gesso diluted with water and go all over around the <clears throat> your object and push back but I decided that I want something else I'm going to use a stencil and I've got here gesso white gesso I'm using a makeup sponge and I'm dabbing I don't want a lot of <coughs> gesso or either paint whatever I'm going you can, because you can use acrylic paint and it doesn't have to be white you can decide on a, any a light a color you want and I'm going to dab very very gently and I don't need it to be a solid white it just needs to push back the background to tone it down and to add more interest And I went a little bit over the flower, but I can always get in there with the permanent marker again. Now I <clears throat> I'm dabbing and it's uh, fading and it works uh, fine for me that it fades I don't again I don't need a solid white color it's uh, great when it fades uh, towards the end when you don't have enough on your uh, sponge so I'm just lining it uh, again and continuing and I'm going to go over most of the background like this you see so I'm going to continue it's going to take me some time and I'll be back I'm back <coughs> sorry I just want to darken the edges I'm taking again the tux a Momento Tuxedo Black with this kind of eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to go over my edges like so just to frame my page a little bit more I think I can remove this masking tape. Yeet. Okay. So now just to go around my page, and I'm thinking now just adding a little bit of shadow underneath just lightly I hope it will make it more uh, noticeable, more prominent, I don't know, it, it will give more definition, best explanation I can give for this decision. <laughs> so just lightly underneath the leaves, the petals, and just, as I said, around my page. Oops.
and basically this is it that's my page I'm really liking what's going on here all the colors and details yeah so let me bring it closer to the camera so you can see all the details here we go So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.